everyone. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, this week I am talking about what's in my pencil case. Um, this is a Delphonics utility pouch. Um, this is the small size, uh, but it fits so much stuff. I also have the medium size, but um, I'm not going to show you that today. It, um, it's a bit of a mess. So, <laughs> um, I mean, this is a mess also, but um, yeah, I'll show. I'm just going to do this one today. Um, so, I'll show you first. I have um, a few bits of like deco or whatever. This little keychain, he's kind of like squishy. Um, <clears throat> this is from Sosoroa, came in a set with another one. Um, I just thought it was really cute, like a little strawberry squirrel. <laughs> um, and then this pin, I got for a pound in a charity shop. I saw it and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> um, seemed perfect. And then this one, um, this Lisa Simpson one, I think this also came from a charity shop, actually. I think my boyfriend found that. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there is a stain on here. I spilt a mug of coffee. <laughs> Um, I don't really mind. I was thinking about putting it in the washing machine, but also I don't want to ruin it, so yeah. Um, actually, hang on one second. I'm just going to close the door because somebody started like a leaf blower or something. Bear with me a sec. I'm back. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, the door to our balcony. I, I have it open today because the weather is so warm still in London. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so Lisa Simpson, she also, I think, came from a charity shop. Um, just got lucky with the pins, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's have a look what's in these pockets. So the pouch has like a million pockets. I think it says on the label, 11, not a million. But <laughs> um, yeah, this little one, I normally keep my tweezers in, but I've been putting them in my pen pot. Um, but yeah, they normally live in there. Um, and then, let's have a look. So on this side I have nice paper clips from Plan and Stow. And then some like labels. So this is for a bag my boyfriend got me at Daiso in America. Um, this was the backing card that came with these guys, but so cute. This is my Tabatai Patreon like member card. You fill it up and I think you get like a discount in her in her shop when it's full. Um, oh, that's a discount code from Stationery Pal they sent me. And then the business card from Miso Paper. That's just really nice. Um, so that's those. And then in the other side, I've got all sorts of page flags. Um, so I've got, oops, this is coming off its card. I've got three, no, four page flags from Plan and Stow, and then these two uh, are from Stationery Pal. Um, I talked about these in my favourite stationery video, um, which I can put a link to in, in the cards thingy. Um, in the back pocket we've got, oh, it's like a little freebie sticker sheet I got somewhere, but I'm not a huge fan of the colours. So I haven't used it, just the two hearts. I have some Smuka Garashi stickies. Those are from Daiso as well. And then um, this page flag pencil board thingy, bookmark thingy. Also talked about in my over stationary video. Um, then in the front, oh gosh, it's such a mess. Um, <laughs> I've got, these are the like, um, basically empty pages of the page tab marker majiggies from Coffee Monsters Co. They're on my weeks. Can you see them? Yeah. <laughs> so that's those. I don't know why, why I've kept these. Um, I just think they're really, they're, they're cute. <laughs> and this one actually, I haven't used both. Or all of these, so maybe I'll use them at some point. Okay, and then, oh my god, look at all of this stuff. <laughs> Loads of these are freebies from Miso Paper. She puts in the best freebies. 
but all of these are hers um, these heart shaped stickers are from Tiger. They came on like a little roll, but these are the last of them. I put them on presents for people. That's a miso paper one. Um, these are just some AliExpress stickers that I want to use soon because they're so cute. So I put them in there to kind of remind me. Oh, another miso paper business card. That's part of a like freebie sampler thingy from miso paper but i've used part of it um my index clips from midori oh i only have two left to be used so maybe i need to get another one of those um where did i get these from these came from suteki stickers when i got my cousin um oh these are from sosoroa rabbit bori stickers they're kind of holographic and then I've got dot sticker samplers thingies that um, the rolls came from Stationery Pal. Um, and then here's a partially used sheet of stickers from also from Sosoroa. I put this guy, he has like three squirrel friends. Um, he's like a little autumn kind of cute like gnome type character. He went in the front of my 2023 cousin and I will be showing you that at some point <laughs> um yeah okay well, let's move all of this stuff out of the way before we keep going oh also I forgot to tell you or say to you happy Halloween this video is going up on Halloween so <laughs> hence the kind of background deco I'll show you this beautiful print from um oops from love soup i'm uh one of her patreon members and this is from the october 2022 patreon happy mail reward um it's so cute i really need to get this framed or oh, i need to get a frame for it um but i haven't done it yet but i will i will so pepper is just that's the um, character that Love Soup draws. Pepper is just tucked here with her sweeties and her ghosts. Um, I love it. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all the pockets empty. Is it? Yes. <laughs> um, oh, this paperclip is one of the uh, Plan and Stow ones. I just keep it there so I can grab it quickly if I need it. Okay, let's look inside. <clears throat> so, um, inside here... I've got my tape roller. Um, this came from Poundland, um, which is like a, if, if you're not from the UK, it's like a dollar store, you know, like everything's a pound. Um, <clears throat> and I got like 10 of these, so, cause I, they're expensive and these are really good. Um, I think I bought a couple and found out how great they were. And so I went back and like bought all of the ones that they had. Um, yeah. I currently have pink, but I have some that are blue and some that are purple. Yeah. Um, this is a um, correction tape I got from Stationery Pal. You can refill this. Um, yeah. But I haven't been able to find refills yet. If you know where to find refills for this Pentel Weezer, let me know. Actually, maybe Stationery Pal have them. I will, I will do some research. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, so basically I keep in here all of my like nice pens, um, not writing pens, kind of like felt tippy type pens. So what's that bit of tape? Okay, so we have the Tombows. I don't have very many because they're expensive and um, I'm just slowly building up a collection of nice colours. Um, um, um. Yeah, this is my Tombow collection so far. Um, I will tell you the colours, but I'll put them in the description as well if you'd like. Or they will be in the description, sorry, I mean. Okay, so I have 553, which is kind of like a bluey lilac. Um, I have 991, which is kind of pale yellow. This one is 623, it's like a proper lovely lilac. I have... 
nine four six, which is pretty bright orange, but nice. Um, one seven seven. N seventy nine. So this is one of the like greys, but it's this is a warm grey. It's very nice. And then three one two, which is kind of a paleish green. So yeah, I also have one of these Tombow Food and Escape brush tip pens. Um, I'm sure everybody knows what these are. Um, it's beautiful. I have the hard tip because I, I'm not very good at brush lettering, so, or I'm actually, no, let me correct myself. I'm terrible at brush lettering, so, um, yeah, I, I don't think the soft tip would work for me. I can write with this fine in like my normal handwriting, but brush pen kind of calligraphy style, I cannot do it. Um, yeah, okay, next I have my clear colored dot markers from Kuretake. So I bought, first I got, <clears throat> sorry, um, I got this set of four um, actually from Amazon because I was really struggling to find them anywhere else. And then I have expanded my colours and I have four more now. So I bought these ones are from Stationery Pal. They sell them individually. And I've got a lilac, a green, which is actually really bright green. It doesn't look like it would be, but it is. Um, a blue and a pale grey. Um, whoops, sorry. Um, I love these. I use these a lot um, in my planners and things. I find them really useful. Obviously, like, they're not essentials, but <laughs> I mean, you don't need any of this stuff. I have been collecting this for a while, but I don't know. These, I, I really like them. Um, and then I have loads of mild liners oh gosh sorry i'm looking the camera um yeah loads of mild liners let me just move that um these are from these are from a set that are like fake mild liners that came from daiso uh but they're really good um that i think they're just as good as the mild liners oh look there's another one and there's, a, there's another colour as well, I think, but I don't know where it is. Um, okay, so here are my mild liners. Um, I have um, three sets of mild liners. So those are the Daiso ones, just as good as mild liners. My boyfriend got those for me when he was in America. He did like a... I don't know if you can tell when you've watched my videos, I occasionally say, Oh, this came from Daiso. Um, he did like a huge like Daiso haul for me and he like FaceTimed me when he was in the shop because like um, we don't have Daiso in the UK and I desperately wish that we did but we don't so I had to like live vicariously through him <laughs> um, but yeah so yeah these are like kind of like knockoff mild liners but they're great let's put those there and then yeah these are my mild liners I can I take them out of the packs so I can't really remember what sets what came with what but I do know that these were these five these five are from the newest um set of mild liners which is like the um muted set or I, I think they call it something like muted um I got these from stationary pal because they were really hard to find in the UK I saw that stationary pal had them and I was like immediately buying like I have to have those I've been seeing them on Instagram for a while and I, I love them such beautiful colors and I use this kind of set of colors a lot not so much this one because it doesn't show up very well on um, Hobonichi paper but these four I think are like my ultimate four <laughs> um, and then yeah I never used to use this brown so much and then I saw randy.plans Randy uses this brown all the time and in her videos I had originally like I watched her YouTube videos and I thought she was using a pink but it was this brown so yeah it, that's nice I think that came from like there's like a vintage set of ones maybe these and then those are the cool oh one's missing oh no yeah so these are like a vintage set and then there's cool 
something i don't really know what they're called there you go i sorted it out <laughs> um yeah yeah i really love mild liners i think they're great they're not super expensive really either um yeah so that's what's in my pencil case um i don't often take this out of the house um i tend to leave it on my desk but if i do go out of the house i actually don't put pens in there <laughs> what i do is i will pick my favorite pens and they go in my coffee monsters pencil case which also has a big coffee stain because it met the same fate as this at the same time um <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll put like my favourite pens. Let's just chuck them in. Oh, sorry, I knocked the camera again. Um, whoopsies. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so they'll go in here. And that will go in my bag. And then in here will go um, my stickers. So, whoopsies. Um, these, this is currently holding stickers from Planabo stickers. I just got these from her on Etsy and they're really nice. Um, and she did a custom sheet for me. Which one? The, um, this week sheet is a custom sheet. And she was really great with, like, asking me exactly how I wanted it and stuff. So I'm really pleased with those. So they live in this Traveller's Company pouchy thing. And then, um... I will also then put my um, Hobonichi sticker books in. Again, these are in my favourite stationery video. So those will go in here um, with like um, the tape runner and the correction tape and my box of Muji paper clips. So those kind of, and all of this stuff that I took out the front pockets. So yeah, that's kind of how I travel with those. Um, I just, um, last week I was at my parents' house for a week and this is how I took up, um, took all of this stuff up to their house. I say up because they live north from where I live. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and also I put some washies in the front pockets. That, that fits a roll of washi tape. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on one second. My boyfriend is about to come home. I'm just going to pause my video. Hello, I am back. Sorry about that intermission. Um, <laughs> I took the opportunity to put all that stuff away. Um, so we could look at the other little bit of the video that I'm going to do. Because it's Halloween. <laughs> um, I thought I would show you some of my like spooky stickers. Um, I don't really have very many when I... The kind of outlined this video I thought I had more but here we are I also thought I'd do spooky washi tapes so I'll show you these first um these are my four favorite ones Ooh, whoops <laughs> these are my four favorite ones um the middle two are from Jeannie J on Etsy I don't know if these are still available I don't think they are but you never know um and then these two are from Stationery Pal. I got these at the same time and I think they go together really nicely. So there's those. And then um, I've got some spooky stickers from the Papershire Halloween release. She did do more than, than I have, but these are the ones that I chose. So these are like, what's this one called? Halloween playlist. Um, really cute. You can see I've already used them. Um, these ones are called Black Cat Chilling. <laughs> um, and also, as I showed you in my last video, my parents have just adopted a black cat. so And I love black cats as well. So these are perfect. Um, this one was a freebie, but oh my God, so cute, right? Um, I think these are good as like little boxes in the Hobonichi Cousin in the Vertical Weeklies. Um, and then I've got spooky mugs which is really cute as well, seeing as I also just got my pumpkin, my pumpkin mug that's here. Um, I got that from uh, Sainsbury's. Um, and then from Coffee Monsters, um, I got Halloween countdown doodles. Now these didn't really arrive in time for me to start using them. So I thought because they're numbers, I might just use them for like 
dates. So like for the sixth or like seventh or eighth or whatever. Um, Cause they're so cute. Um, yeah, it seemed a shame to put them on pages that I'd like already used and that I wasn't necessarily gonna look back at um, straight away. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of saving those for something. And then these Coffee Monsters ones too, these are autumn mug doodles. So it's more of an autumnal than a um, spooky, but still, this mug is literally exactly like the one that I have, so that's nice. And then I got the October monthly kit from Coffee Monsters, so I've already used quite a lot of it. Um, but yeah, I think it's so cute and little ghosties and the, um, the emoji in the cat costume, so cute. I really love the purple, um, yeah, I will show you, I used that um, in my cousin, um, let me just find the page, um, I used it on the like uh, first page of October, um, so I haven't come back to this in a little while, I need to fill up some of these trackers, um, but yeah, that's from the kit and then this box was from the kit and this box also and it goes really well with the um, sleepy washi from coffee monsters so that's nice and i also used part of it for a weekly spread which i haven't shown anybody yet but here we are some of that kit also went into this spread so some of the boxes um and things are from that kit and then also the date the day marker thingies stickers whatever so yeah that's everything i think um thank you so much for watching and sorry about that little intermission but um we move whatever you know <laughs> um yeah i hope you all have a lovely halloween evening or afternoon uh my videos go up at 7 p.m gmt so I guess it's evening for my UK friends and afternoon for my friends in America. So yeah, thank you so much and I will see you next week. Um, bye!